All right, gonna show you from scripture and from science the health risks of alcoholism, liquor, and heavy drinking. So first, let's always go to the Word of God. That is our final standard for faith and practice if you are a Bible-believing Christian. And show that the scriptures teach that alcoholism, liquor, you know, heavy drinking and wine, all of that contains lots of health risks and health hazards for the drinker. And of course, my cat is on the desk, in case you haven't noticed him. Uh, his name is Boa. Say hi to the camera, Boa. He doesn't want to say hi. But the scripture teaches that there's major health risks that come with heavy drinking of alcohol, liquor, wine, etc. Let's go to the scriptures first. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 29 to 35. Who hath woe, who hath sorrow, who hath contentions, who hath babbling, who hath, wo who hath wounds without a cause, who hath redness of eyes, they that tarry at the wine, and that go and seek mixed wine. Exactly. Who hath red eyes. You know, I, wine can cause redness of eyes. Who hath sorrow. Wine and liquor can cause depression. It can cause all kinds of other problems. Who hath contentions. When you go, when you drink lots of wine, when you heavily drink, you're going to get into a fight. You know, why, do, why do you think so many bar fights happen? Because when you drink wine, you're going to have contentions. Who hath babbling? You know, when you drink, when you heavily drink and get drunk, you're going to have a slurred speech. Who hath wounds without a cause? You know, you're going to get into all kinds of, of accidents. You're going to get into fights. Who hath wounds without a cause? All those problems right there come with wine and alcoholism. Verse twenty, verse thirty-one. Look not thou upon the wine that is red when it giveth his color in the cup, when it moveth itself aright. At the last, it biteth like a serpent, it stingeth like an adder. Thine eyes shall behold strange women, and thy heart shall utter perverse things. Talk to some of these drunkards, they're going to be uttering perverse, disgusting things. Very, very perverse things that they would not utter when they're sober-minded. Yea, thou shalt, be he, thou shalt be as he that lieth down in the midst of the sea, or as he that lieth upon the top of the mast. They have stricken me, shalt thou, shalt, shalt thou say, I was not sick, they have beaten me, and I felt it not. When shall I awake and seek it yet again? Exactly. Wine and alcoholism contain all these health risks. You're going to utter perverse things. You're going to have redness of eyes. You're going to have contention. You're going to have wounds. It's that simple. The Bible shows that alcoholism contains health risks. Now let me show you scientific research showing that alcoholism also contains health risks. And that really, for your own, the sake of your own health, you really ought to avoid drinking alcohol and heavily drinking wine and liquor and all that stuff. Let's go to the, this is from, um, this is from NIAA.gov, basically the, uh, it's at Alcohol Facts and Statistics, National Institute for Alco on Alcohol Abuse.gov. So this is from a government website, by the way, uh, Alcohol in the Body. In 2019, of the 85,688 liver disease deaths among individuals ages 12 and older, 43.1% involved alcohol. Among males, 53,486 53, liver disease deaths occurred and 45.6% involved alcohol. Among females, 32,202 liver disease deaths occurred and 39.0% involved alcohol. So alcohol was literally causing a lot of these liver disease deaths. It's involving alcohol. Very, very serious. Among all cirrhosis deaths in 2015, 49.5% were alcohol-related. The proportion of alcohol-related cirrhosis deaths was highest, 76.8%, uh, among persons ages 25 to 34, followed by persons ages 35 to 44 at 72.7%. So cirrhosis. Alcohol is killing you with cirrhosis too in many cases. Most of these deaths, like I said, it said for ages 35 to 44, 72.7%. Boa, get out of the camera. Gotta love having a cat. So it's 72.7% for eight, for adults ages 35 to 44 for cirrhosis related deaths on alcohol. From 2010 to 2016, alcohol related liver disease was, primary, was, was the primary cause of almost one in three liver transplant, transplants in the United States. Replacing hepatitis C virus infection as a leading cause of liver transportation, transplantation due to chronic liver disease. So alcohol is causing these ridiculously high rates of liver transplantations because it causes liver disease. Very, very unhealthy, but then you say, oh, I can drink, you know, moderately. It's still pretty bad for you. 
Research has shown that people who misuse alcohol have a greater risk of liver disease, heart disease, depression, stroke, and stomach bleeding, as well as can cancers in the oral cavity, esophagus, uh, lar larynx, and pharynx, hope I'm saying those words right, liver, colon, and rectum. These individuals may also have problems managing conditions such as diabetes, high blood pressure, uh, pain, and sleep disorders. They may increase their likelihood of unsafe sexual behavior. Yeah, exactly, like I said in Proverbs 23, who has, you know, you know, eyes behold a strange woman is heart utter perverse things. They're going to get into unsafe sexual behavior and you have all these other risks of heart disease, depression, all that stuff. Who has sorrows, like it talks about in Proverbs 23. Why? Because they got depression. Alcohol consumption is associated with, with an increased risk of drowning and injuries from violence, falls, and motor vehicle crashes. Alcohol consumption is, often, is also associated with an increased risk of female breast cancer, esophageal cancer, or sorry, esophageal cancer, especially in individuals who inherit a deficiency in enzyme involved in alcohol metabol metabolism. Hope I'm saying that word right. And harmful medication interactions, alcohol consumption has been linked to a risk of FASD in offspring of women who consume alcohol during pregnancy. This is what alcohol does to your system. This is what alcohol does to the, the well-being and health of your body. Alcohol destroys your health when you drink it heavily. Just like Proverbs 23 verses 29 and 35 warns about. So really, you ought to stay away from alcohol. It, it is very, very bad for your health. Just wanted to show you guys that and warn you about the, the health risks of alcoholism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.